Hello, everybody. My name is Matthew Clayball. It's my wife, Martha Clayball. I'd <laughs> like to welcome you to the, uh, the couple's corner here. A little show we got going. The basic thing we do here at the couple's corner is we give couples advice. You see, we've had such a long lasting, loving relationship, you know, me and the missiles here, but you know, a lot of people out there, they got the problems in their relationships, so we try to help them. Tonight we have with us an old friend of mine. It's a friend who's on that there, the show. I don't know if you guys heard about that, but he's here because he's having himself some relationship problem with his old woman. We're going to help. Well, me and my wife, we've been married for a while. And it seems like things are just going downhill now. You know, that's real common, common about this time in your relationship. But uh, why, why is she here? Why are you here by yourself? Well, the reason I showed up here alone is because my wife's out horning around on the street on her knees and all kinds of filthy shit. What should I do about it? Well, you know, Mr. Christopher, my wife, she done never not cheated on me, you know. But, you know, I really wouldn't stand for that. The only thing I can really tell you do, you're going to go hit that bitch with this here hammer. What? See, Mr. Christopher, it's real simple. If that bitch done went out there cheating on you, whoring up them there streets, she ain't gonna change. Best thing for you to do is just cut your losses, go out there and beat that bitch head in with this here hammer. So why a hammer? Why not a baseball bat or a cleaver? Well, that's a good question there, Mr. Christopher. You see, not many people know the hammer's a very useful tool for murder. I happen to have a tape here that's gonna show all these viewers and you why the hammer is the best for murdering. Mm. How you guys doing? I'm Matthew Clayball. I'm gonna show you guys the uses of a common ordinary hammer in the act known as murder. Now the first thing I wanna show you guys here is um, see the front, let's go for smashing. That's the obvious one. But the back here's got these two little teeth things here. You see what I mean? You know, you take, take it, you know, take it all out. You know, put it in there, behind, behind the hot two teeth there. And you crack! And then the teeth fall right out. Keeping with using the back side of the hammer, you can take the teeth, what you do is put it right there, see? And it's the same simple pull motion, except it's on the neck, you gotta do it real hard up and real hard that away. What's gonna do is gonna take that throat, it's gonna rip it, rip it on out. Now the last one I'm gonna show you guys here is, it's probably the most obvious, but it's the most effective to get in the kill shot. You take the front part of the hammer and you put it right about the deal on the temple of your victim. Now what you do is you take the hammer, right, one hand, and you take this hand and you put it out in front, you cock back with the hammer, you come through full body with the hammer. Now the last thing it's gonna go called crack, and it's gonna go and then you're gonna fall, they're gonna die. I see Mr. Christopher. Now that's the reason we use the hammer for murder. Here you go, son. Well, thank you, Matthew Clayball. This is gonna be a fresh start for me. You know, I'm really happy we're gonna help that poor boy. Woman, what did I tell you about speaking? You ain't supposed to fucking speak till your stupid bitch ass is spoken to. You want me to hit you with this goddamn hammer? I'll do it. <sighs> now that you shut that goddamn trash can you call a mouth, we can get back on with the show. Here's our next two guests, Philip and Jim. Hi, Matthew Claybot. So nice to meet you. Got a hammer. Nice hammer. Mmm, yes, she is. Yes, she is a good hammer. I love this hammer. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I found that hammer on his birthday. It was probably his 56th birthday. He's had ever since. I went up to Walmart and had a real cheap price. It was real good. Got it for real cheap. Bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? Did I not just get through saying not to speak? 
All right. What seems to be the problem with you two? Can you smoke in here? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's perfectly acceptable. Go on ahead. Well, Mr. Claybaugh, we've been together a really long time, and we have pretty good sex, but we're just trying to spice things up a little bit. Do you have any advice on how we could do that? Screwdriver. Screwdriver? Is there a fucking echo in here? Yes, I said screwdriver. There are many uses for screwdriver in sexual intercourse. I will show you on this new video tape I made. This is a list of ways that a screwdriver can be useful for intercourse. To start with, for the beginners, you'll just use the tip shaft. Right there, it's a slender. And uh, what to do with this is uh, you put this up the vagina or the anal. And some frisky men enjoy putting up their urethra. My particular favorite way to use a screwdriver for anal intercourse, or any kind of intercourse for that matter, would be to use it as a second penis, and I will demonstrate right now. Last but not least, when you defecate upon a woman's chest, you can take the screwdriver and use it as kind of, I guess you'd say, a pencil and write with it on the chest. You can write things of the nature of, I like poop, fuck my butt, and I like to kill people with a hammer. You see now how a, a screwdriver can increase your sexual life by at least 200 times. Thank you. That's about all the time we have here on the Couples Corner. I hope that some of the things that we've told you will be helpful. Maybe help you through some tough relationship times. But as for me, I'm gonna go fuck this lovely piece of shit with this here screwdriver.